Well, I'm glad you folks are in a great mood tonight. Our first guest is uh, one of the funniest men working in television today. He is the anchor of Weekend Update on the popular Saturday Night Live program. Please welcome Norm MacDonald. How you doing? I'm doing good. Huh? No, that's all right. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just slow. That's okay. <laughs> Happy New Year, buddy. Happy New Year to you. Thank man. you very much for being here. Yeah. You don't mind if I ask you a question? What's that? I hear today, I hear this story, and there's like this press release that you get your ass fired. Is that yeah. true? No, you didn't get fired. Yeah, they fired no, me. No, they didn't fire you. No, I'm serious. I, I, I'm I talked to a guy that said I'm fired. Fired from your television job? From on the weekend. You know, I do the news segment. Yeah, the weekend update. Yeah, and I do the jokes. Uh, do, uh, Sometimes, know. many times, the, the best part of the show. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh... It's all a matter of opinion. That's your opinion. That's my opinion, yeah. But then the guys that can fire me, that's not their opinion. Now, why would they fire you? Well, uh... Who fired you, first of all? Let's get some names here. Let's get this <laughs> on the record. Well, I don't know the guys, like, because the guys I work with, like, like, Lauren Michaels and stuff. Did Lauren Michaels fire you? No, he didn't. Uh -huh. He didn't fire me. Right. He, he likes me and stuff. Well, he, it's his show, isn't it? I, I thought it was his show, yeah. But, uh, well, then how can a guy come in from the outside and fire you? Somebody well, see, from ABC fired you? No, no. They're NBC. What happens is... You work on the show, and then there's these guys that hang out, like, in the halls. <laughs> yeah, we got and, them here. We, yeah. got the, we got them here. And they're called executives. <laughs> they're NBC executives, right? Yeah. And then I'd see them. I didn't know who the hell they were, what they did, you know? <laughs> now I know what they do. They fire me from Weekend Update. But uh, they, uh, they, they said that this guy, Don Olmeyer, who turns out to be the president. Yeah, now I know Don Olmeyer, and yeah. just between you and me, he's an idiot. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. So I wouldn't take it seriously. If this guy fired you, you may still have a job. You never know. I'd wait for some paperwork. No, I, I phoned him, you know. Uh -huh. Oh, you had to phone You had to phone in to pick up your messages yeah. from the... Oh, man. Yeah, so I said, hey, you don't know what to say. You're like, hey, how's it going there? You know, you're trying to talk about something else. Yeah. Did you have a turkey there for the thing or whatever? I don't know. <laughs> and then, uh, so he goes, uh, oh, yeah, I'm, uh, uh, I'm firing you there from the show. And then I, I said... Uh, Oh, that's not good. <laughs> you know? And then I said, "Why is that now?" And he goes, uh, "Oh, you're not, uh, you know, you're not funny." Yeah. And then I said, uh, "I said, oh, holy lord, that's even worse news, you know." <laughs> he goes, "No, I don't got nothing to fall back on." No. Right? Yeah, he's a good man. Well, he just fired you. What do you mean he's a good? What is wrong with you, you quizzling? Stop that. <laughs> I don't know what quizzling means, uh. but... <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I, I mean, to me, like, you know, you have to be philosophical about these things. I mean, at first, like, when I found out, you know, I was upset, but then, you know, I, uh, I really started to... I started to think about it, you know, and plus I drank a lot of whiskey, and I... <laughs> And then Took afterwards, the edge off it a little, I'm yeah, guessing. I just yeah. thought, ah, like that. <laughs> but then the next day, I sobered up, and I remembered, uh, you know, that uh, I still had some whiskey left. <laughs> <laughs> so. so you went right back to it. Yeah. But now, now, Norm, I far be it for me to tell you how to lead your life or your career, because Lord knows you've been very, very successful. But if the guy says to you, we don't want you on the weekend update, and that's like your signature piece. Yeah. You're, you're kind of like the anchor man, not only of that segment, but of the entire Saturday Night Live show. If things aren't going great, they give the ball to you. You're the damn quarterback, Norm. You're the one who punches it over the goal line for pay dirt. So now, well, I mean, if you, Mr. You, Big Shot Cologne and Cufflinks, Don Olmeyer, <laughs> if he says, we don't want you on the weekend update, I'd adios. You I'd get, get in the cab. Absolutely. Hit the dirt. Come on over here to CBS. We'll get you a nice show. <laughs> we'll, put you, we'll put you to get a nice show for you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're no quizzling. <laughs> I never, I've never been called that. Um, <laughs> well, now, will you stay on the, on the rest of the show? Yeah, I'm going to stay. Like, I do also, uh, other than doing an update, I do, like, sketches, but, like, I stink in those. <laughs> so, uh, that... <laughs> You know, he thinks I'm funny in those. Uh-huh, yeah. Oh, it's just the Weekend Update he doesn't think you're funny. Yeah, he doesn't think I'm funny in Weekend Update, and, uh... 
Uh, God only knows. I mean, you know, he, it's just a matter of opinion. He, th he also thinks that uh, O.J. is innocent. So. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Don't, don't let this pinhead push you around, no. for heaven's sakes. No, he's not a pinhead. He's a, uh, he's a, he's a fat guy. There we go now. Come on, Norm. Let's go. Let's get a little heat on here. No. It's funny when you don't like a guy just because he's fat, you know what I mean? No, it's, it has nothing to do with him being fat. No, he's, it doesn't have anything to do with him being fat. You don't like it because he's a dope. No. <laughs> no, it's just a... You know what I've always said is, uh, I've said comedy is subjective. Mm-hmm. I never really said that no, before. No, I didn't think... <laughs> <laughs> I said, I usually say, whiskey is good. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> But, but you're, uh, Norm, you're, you're very, very funny. You're, you're like the strength of that franchise now. Well, do you know any guys over there you can give a call to? Right? Well, yeah, well, they're going to take a call from me. You're lucky, <laughs> you're lucky they took your call so they could fire you. Are you kidding? Ah, uh, but there... Are you getting some support from the rest of the cast members? Well, you know, the, the people on the cast, like, they go, uh, you know when you work at a place, you know, some people like you, some people hate you. <laughs> but, uh, oh, yeah, you don't even tell me that. <laughs> So, you know, people come up to you and go, oh, man, I'm sorry. And then uh, either they, they're sorry or they're not sorry. Yeah, that's right. So how the hell do you know? No, you don't really yeah. know. But you can tell. Well, you... sometimes you can tell, like, you walk into a room and then everybody will stop talking. Mm -hmm. And then so you go, hey, were you just talking about how you were glad I got fired from the update? <laughs> and they go, no, no, we were talking about uh, hats. <laughs> But now, let me go back to this, and I don't want to embarrass you again, but if, if Lauren Michaels, the guy who created the show, the guy who's kept the show in business all these years, yeah. it's his show. Mr. Big Shot, Mr. Table at Orso's, Lauren yeah. Michaels, why doesn't he step in? Why doesn't he throw himself in front of this gorilla to save your job? What's going on there? With that? It sounds to me like he's a quizzling. He is? <laughs> well, that's what it sounds like. Maybe we can get a dictionary at the break. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, but you know what I'm saying? This is the guy. Didn't Lauren Michaels hire you? Yes, he did. Well, then who ought to be able to fire you? Lauren Michaels, right? so right? where was he? Did he fire you? No, he didn't fire me. But he's like your buddy, right? Your buddies with Lauren. Yeah, he's, he's a good man. And, and he's what did he say to you? been very supportive of him. Well, I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did he say to you? He said to me, he says to me, he says... <laughs> He said, look, Norm, this is the deal. You know? <laughs> he said, I want you to stay on as Weekend Update. Oh, good. Well, dude. there you go. Well, great. So you got the job back. That's good news. <laughs> Attaboy, congratulations. Uh. <laughs> Hang on. Stay right there. Think about it. We're going to get this straightened out. All right, Norm? Norm MacDonald is here from Saturday Night Live. Peter Wilson from uh, La Femme Nikita Streb. You ever seen these Streb people? Oh, they're great. They're going to change your life. What do you got there, Norm? You looked up Quizzling. Yeah, I looked up yeah, Quizzling. Yeah. And also, there's. do you know what Quizmaster means? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be like Alex Trebek. Huh? Yeah. yeah, I knew that. No, Quizzling is a master of ceremonies on a game show. <laughs> there you go. No. No. Quizzling is a traitor who serves as the puppet of the enemy occupying his go. country. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you very much. No, you, know, you, know, you, sir, are no quizzling. I thought I was dumb when I didn't know what quizzling was. Yeah. I think I'm even dumber now because I still don't know what it is. So now, Norm, a couple of things come to mind here. This seems so preposterous to me, so unfathomable, so unreasonable that I'm guessing, oh, it's like a stunt, like a publicity stunt, like big time wrestling or something. Is that that kind of deal? Where you and Don Olmeyer will have, have a feud and you'll, you'll wrestle on the show or something for your job, one of those deals? <laughs> no, no, I like Don Olmeyer. Oh, no, how can you like... This weasel fired you! <laughs> no, but he doesn't think I'm funny. And yet you like the man. Sure, I, don't, I mean, you know? Here's, here's what. <laughs> a lot of people don't think I'm funny. Enjoy your complimentary beverage. Now, <laughs> tomorrow night... It ain't whiskey, but it's good. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's a great song. Now, tomorrow night... <laughs> Tomorrow night, come back on the show, or Friday night, come back on the show and do Weekend Update. You can do Weekend Update here. You, you can be the Weekend Update guy on this show. That'd be great. Well, there you go. <laughs> now, who's, who's taking your place on the Weekend Update? 
I don't know. Apparently, they had some press release today, but I don't, I don't read the papers, which is, that wasn't good either. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, not, not if you're in charge of Weekend Update yeah. to just blatantly admit that <laughs> you don't know what's going on. I did too many Nixon jokes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you who's taking your place. Nobody can take your place, Norm uh, MacDonald. Uh, That's what I think. Uh, <laughs> you don't seem to be taking this too hard. You seem to be taking it pretty well. Well, I mean, I don't know, because uh, if, so if somebody doesn't like you, then uh, and they uh, own the joint, you know that's fine. I mean, I don't yeah, know. Why would you want to work in that atmosphere? Why wouldn't you want to take a hike and say, "Well, I'll show you. I'll take my little weekend update someplace else and bury you punks." I don't know. I guess I'm a damn quizzling or something. <laughs> well, Norm, geez, I hope you land on your feet. I think you're gonna, but you're gonna be in part of the show anyway, right? Yeah, I'll be doing, yeah. you know, I know, things. Yeah. I'll be, you know, now I That's find a hilarious out. impression of me. You'll be doing that, I guess. <laughs> no, I Why didn't they that. fire that? <laughs> <laughs> what they do is they, uh, they, now they're saying, oh, we'll put you in a whole bunch of sketches, which I don't want to be in. Because of course. then they're like, here, you're the scientist and uh, uh, you, you, uh, t you're the scientist in charge of Monkey Boy or some <laughs> damn thing. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and then uh, I'm like running in going, hey, uh, cheerleaders, what's going on? I, uh, I haven't seen Monkey Boy. And I don't know how to... That ain't, that that ain't a bad sketch, though, Norm. <laughs> That's true. Well, that ain't bad. That's got possibilities. Um, how's everything at home? Your mom all right? Oh, yeah, Do you my get mom. to see your mom much? Uh, she came to visit me in New York, you know. That's nice. And huh? she's uh, real sweet, you know. She she doesn't know much about show business, you know. But she always tries. She knows I'm in show business. Right, yeah. I mean, she, until tonight. Uh -huh. and, uh, <laughs> so she always tries to give me, like, the showbiz news. I remember, like, a couple of years ago, she phoned me up. She goes, uh, oh, my God, have you heard the news? Uh, Liza Minnelli's a phony. And that was her, like, story. <laughs> Liza Minnelli's a phony. Yeah, and I thought, how can that be, like, a story? <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, man, I'm sure she probably is a phony, you know? But uh, how would that be a scoop? And then, like, it took me a while to figure out. She was talking about uh, them, uh, remember Millie Vanilli? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, she's... <laughs> she's, like, into that stuff, you know? She must be very excited and proud, though. I mean, because you work with big, big stars. Like, you've worked with... I know you've worked with Bill Cosby. Oh, yeah, Bill Cosby, man. He was, he was my favorite guy ever since I was young. Mm -hmm. And I got to open for him at this comedy thing, and he was the greatest. I got to meet him and stuff. And, you know, when you meet these guys, it's so, like, you're, you know, you're in awe, shock or something, you know, because you can't believe you're talking to this guy. And, uh, and uh, so I told him, I said, you know, he's always funny. He has yeah. that funny way of talking. So I go, hey, hi, nice to meet you, Mr. Cosby. And he goes, like, uh, yes! Yes! You know? <laughs> yeah. And then you just laugh, you know? <laughs> and then, so I go, uh, oh, man, I go, you're my favorite, you know? And ever since I was a little kid, I always listened to you. You're my dad's favorite comedian ever, you know? And he goes, now, where is your dad from? Yeah. You know? That's so pretty go, good. Right. That's pretty good. Maybe I'll do him this week on the show. <laughs> <laughs> So, so I tell Cosby, you know, I say, oh, my dad's from uh, Ottawa. So he turns to his buddy Ben as his manager or something, mm -hmm. and he goes, Ben, isn't we aren't the Ottawa, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, Ben goes, yes, we are uh, playing Ottawa soon. Ben understands right, everything sure. Cosby says. <laughs> and uh, he goes, yes, Mr. Cosby, we are, uh, we do have a, a gig in Ottawa and uh, coming up. And uh, he goes, what is your father, give me a paper. So he gets a paper and he goes, here, now, write your father's name on the paper. <laughs> well, everything's funny. He's yeah, advice yeah. that, hey, write your father's name on the paper. Yeah, no, it's not, no. So, uh, <clears throat> so he goes, and the pen. The man needs the pen. You know? So I get the pen and the paper, you know. So I'm writing down my father's uh, thing. And then uh, all of a sudden I realize that uh, my father's dead. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's a problem. Oh, oh man. So, <laughs> oh, man. So I, like, I panic, you know? I'm in this uh, situation. My dad's been dead eight, nine years, and I got the, 
the paper and the pen, you know? Sure, yeah. And uh, so uh, I, I know Ottawa's area code, you know, so I write that, and then I'm just writing down, uh, like, random numbers, you know? <laughs> and then I go, uh, here you go, Mr. Cosby, this is my father is still alive's number here, you know? And he's like, hey, I gotta get it up, you know? And then, so I thought, God, man, that's a stupid thing I did, you know? And uh, then a couple weeks later, uh, I get a call, and it's Bill Cosby oh. on the phone. And he's like, I phoned the number! <laughs> <laughs> and he was so sweet, like, yeah. he'd actually phoned my yeah. father's number. Like, what a great man, you know? Oh, man. And he said, the man does not live with the number. <laughs> <laughs> the man answered, and not your father, you know? So I'm like, uh, oh, I'm pretty sure. Because <laughs> you know? I couldn't go, oh, yeah, I forgot. He's been dead 10 years. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, well, Norm, uh, I hope we've uh, been able to get you through uh, your darkest hour. <laughs> And that I hope you somehow find the will to carry on. <laughs> and normally this would be the time when we'd mention the show on Saturday night, but I'm so angry about this that I don't care about the show Saturday night, and neither should you. Oh. oh. <laughs> Good to see you, Norm. Thank you, man. Come, come back anytime. Norm MacDonald.